So a lot happened in Rygar and Noviri this week, didn't it, young jackal? Yes, sir, it did. Um, though, uh, can we talk about Noviri first this week? Is that okay? The Rygar stuff is all weird. I, I don't know when it won't be weird, but like, just Noviri first, alright? I'm fine with that. What specifically is on your mind? Cam is a good leader, right? A better one than Thazon. Thazon is letting the Empire fall apart, probably even before the war with the Sildarum. Cam would never allow that to happen, and this is gonna divide them, right? That's what it seems like to me. Maybe, but Cam knows certain things you're not acknowledging. Cam Novier might be an amazing leader when it comes to laying a foundation, building according to a plan, and making improvements along the way, dealing with problems and mishaps and such. But he knows who he is and who he isn't, or at least he thinks he does. What's that supposed to mean? Um, what, what are you talking about? Well... Cam's afraid of even fixing or making guns, right? Even though we both know that he knows perfectly well how to produce and operate them. Would he pick one up if worse came to worse? Oh, uh, oh, you're, you're asking me? Um, probably not. Like, unless someone was threatening his family, uh... So, what, you, you're saying he wouldn't do well in battle? Is that, is that what you're getting at? No, no, what I'm saying is a little bit left of that. I'm saying he believes he wouldn't do well in or near battle, so he stays away from it. But we do know that he already flew Trike, what seems like ages ago now. While Kath was the one doing the shooting for him. But, you could argue that he didn't have much of a choice, and he was focused on not dying at the time. But we also know that he took part in several small skirmishes with Terramor forces during his early days in the Milligram Sector. So, what you're really saying is he could be good at it, but he's afraid of it. So he doesn't get better, because he doesn't try at all. Yes, something like that. Belief is powerful. Always in the wrong way. Always. Understanding, though, that's a much easier applied force of nature. A lot more difficult to screw up, and easier to fix if you do end up doing that. Okay, so just to answer the question, are Cam and Thazon going to fight one another in the end? That's really up to Thazon and not Cam. Cam built Thazon the sort of weapon that's perfect for... Stays on to display the sort of man Cam thinks he might be, based on the evidence at Cam's disposal. What sort of man does Cam think that Thazon might be? An excellent frontline general capable of adapting to shifting strategies and tactics. Nothing more, nothing less. But why would Cam give Thazon that sort of strength? I mean, if Cam is as smart as, you know, everybody says he is, wouldn't he also understand that Thazon might, um, you know, might attack him because of the threat that Cam would pose to Thazon? Astute observation, my young jackal. Likely, Cam evaluated both the threat of Thazon turning on him and that of the Sildarum fighting the war and considers the Sildarum to be a much more formidable opponent. That reminds me, we haven't seen them yet, the Sildarum. When will we? Hmm? Hmm? I'm still waiting for that first encounter. It's gonna be so exciting. Too soon, young jackal. It will be much too soon before we see what they're capable of. What do you mean? It, it feels like you've been putting it off since forever. I just, I just want to see what they're like and stuff. Trust me, Gorvoth. 
You know very little of war. Very little. Much less than I do. Change the subject. Uh, um, oh, okay, no, no, I, um, I do remember some stuff from Rygar every now and again. Um, sometimes I feel scared and terrified. But not for me, or, or for you, like I would normally. For someone else. I, I can't remember who they are. I try to remember their face, but it just slips through my hands like smoke. It's... it's weird. Rygar is like that. It will continue to be like that. Keep going till... <sighs> I can't say more. My tongue is bound on this subject. My apologies. Um... uh... okay, um... I also feel stronger. Like, have you noticed that I don't need to be told to do my workouts and my stretches anymore? They feel necessary now, as if I need to hone myself here to be better there. If I don't, if I don't make myself better here, then I won't be better there, and I have to be better there. I feel it deeply. It goes to the very center of me. I have to be better in Rygar. I must. Now that is progress, my young jackal. Excellent indeed. Unfortunately, though, I do have to cut this wonderful little talk short. I have a job to go see that I've been neglecting. Can you wrap it up for me and do all the edits and stuff? I have to go right now. Trust me, it's important. Yes, sir! Oh, okay. Well, uh, Lothran just left right away. Um, no goodbye or nothing. That, um, that's fine. Okay, so that's the end of the discussion. Good night and good luck, everyone. Stay safe out there. And hopefully we'll see you again next week for more hints and insights into the stories of the week. Bye-bye, everybody! Bye-bye! Bye-bye-bye-bye! Bye-bye! I wonder what's so important that he just ran off. Hmm...